What do you think, Koku? Are fish friends or are they food? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Turtle Girl, and today we are talking about fish and turtles as tank mates. So, usually when people have their turtle tank set up, they have just their turtle in there, and they look at the tank, and they kind of want to see some more action in that tank, they want to see more going on, and they kind of want to stimulate the turtle to do something more, and maybe give the turtle some friends. And so they think, oh, maybe I could add some fish to this aquarium. And usually when they want to do this, they have a couple of questions, like, first of all, is this even possible? Will the turtle eat the fish? Or what type of fish would be best? To go with my turtle. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So first of all, before you even think about going out and getting fish, you have to determine if you even have room in your aquarium for more animals. So when you have your tank set up, and if your turtle is in there and cramped and maxing out the swimming space, maxing out the filter so that the tank water gets dirty really fast, you probably don't want to add more fish until you can get a larger tank so that you can meet the needs of the turtle first. So once you've got that cleared and out of the way, so you have extra space in your aquarium for fish, then you wanna look at the setup of your tank and also at the type of turtle that you have because all turtles are inclined to hunt and kill and eat fish, but some of them are more adept at hunting and catching them, whereas others aren't. For instance, things like slider turtles and painted turtles are very, very good at swimming after and catching fish, whereas something like a musk or mud isn't as good at it. And regarding like your actual tank setup, you have to see if you have enough decorations in there for the fish to be able to hide and get away from the turtle and be able to maneuver so that the turtle cannot catch them. And so that is another thing you have to keep in mind. So usually this puts us in a position where the type of fish we want is a fish that is fast and that is also hopefully kind of smart because it doesn't matter if you're fast if you just sit there trying to be a rock and hoping that the turtle doesn't see you. So you want your fish to be fast and smart. Immediately this rules out several different species of fish for obvious reasons. So for example, long fin fish like betta fish, angel fish, even long tailed guppies. Those long fins will really slow them down when they're trying to get away from the turtle and usually those fins look kind of attractive to turtles and they want to try to investigate and usually those those types of fish will end up being eaten. So that immediately rules out any long fin fish. This also rules out some sucker fish or bottom feeding fish because when they are sucking on the glass or sucking on a decoration, um, their method of, I guess, camouflage or avoiding predators is hoping that the, the turtle doesn't even see them in the first place. So usually they will just sit still and hide and ignore the turtle. But when the turtle comes up to investigate them, they'll just stay there paralyzed and then that also leads to another meal for the turtle. So usually sucker fish and those types of fish don't always work out with turtles. Now that leaves us with a couple of different options. So first of all, we have tetra fish. These are small, fast fish. They usually like to be in schools. And I usually also like to choose fish that are kind of cheap at least when I am testing the waters to see what type of fish I want to go with my turtle so that I don't end up spending $10 on a single fish and then the turtle eats it and then it's a gourmet dinner and that's really no fun. So usually the fish I will go with is, if I'm doing tetras, is something like a neon tetra. Usually you can get these for a dollar, maybe two. And start with a school of five to six and see how those do with your turtle. Another type of fish that um, tends to work with turtles is zebra danios. So danios are another type of fast fish that also work with turtles, similar to tetras. They like schooling and these are also relatively cheap. So these are the fish I would start out with when you're trying to see if your turtle can go with fish because it actually really is quite subjective. Each turtle kind of varies on how much they actually want to go after that fish and how much they actually want to eat that fish. For instance, I know someone who has an eastern painted turtle like mine and he is totally fine with fish. That fish lives with guppies, that fish lives with neon tetras. I even think there might be a gourami fish in there which is kind of like a betta fish. I'm not sure but that, fit, that fish, that turtle is actually fine with fish whereas my eastern painted turtle Nemo, he is an absolute like mass murderer. Literally, I put in six or seven neon tetras and two days later, they were all gone. Like he massacred them and it was really sad to see. So it really does vary from turtle to turtle. I mean, there's such a d drastic difference between my friend's turtle and my Eastern painted turtle. And so 
what, what I suggest is just starting out with those small, fast fish, and then if those fish survive, you can work your way down through things that are like guppies, so they might be a little bit slower, and maybe even some bottom-dwelling fish like quarry catfish that don't actually suck on the glass, but they just kind of hang out at the bottom. And if the small, faster fish do not survive, there are other options that you can try. And so I'm talking about more aggressive and smarter fish that can kind of hold their own against the turtles. So I'm talking about cichlids. And what I have here, this is like the only fish that has survived long term with my turtles. And these are convict cichlids. And so these have survived with both of my turtles for, I think maybe four months now. And that's actually pretty long considering that both of my turtles really enjoy <laughs> catching fish. And so cichlids are a good option because usually they are kind of aggressive. So if the turtle does try to go at them, they might fight back a little bit and that will deter the turtle from trying to actually go after them. And also they are pretty smart so they know how to outrun and outmaneuver a turtle that is chasing them. So cichlids are another option. And the only thing with cichlids that you really have to watch out for is that their aggression can actually really get out of hand with turtles. Because for instance, when my convict cichlids were breeding and I had at the time I had both males and females in the same tank, the breeding pair got so aggressive that they actually started nipping at my turtles, they started nipping at Hoku's tail, and he actually got a minor like kind of infection that I had to fix with a bunch of aquarium salt and stuff. But you really have to watch out for that and if you notice nipping, either try to separate males and females, which is what I did, so now this is all females in this tank and there's all males in Nemo's tank or just don't try fish at all. For certain turtles, they will not get along with fish, period, and you just have to accept that and accept the turtle for who they are. And if you do want to see fish, then you'll just have to be able to be comfortable with seeing them eaten. So with that being said, fish can be really fun to watch with turtles, and it's very enriching for the turtle to kind of chase them but not eat them, if you know what I mean. And so it can be really fun to have fish with your turtle, just exercise caution and just play around with it, because it really does depend on your individual turtle. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, feel free to give it a huge thumbs up. Comment below what type of fish you keep in your turtle tank so you can give other people ideas. That would be really great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe um, and I will see you next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye.